Okay, good day everybody. Mike here. This is number two in the five knives in five days challenge. And uh, as per video number one, anything sharp or pointy also goes. So this is my Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. And I quite commonly refer to this as my my car axe because uh, living here in the Pacific Northwest, in particular uh, Vancouver Island, you don't want to travel any of the back roads, uh, you know, the logging roads and that kind of stuff without either a chainsaw or an axe or something because windfalls across the road are are very very common uh, I've had to uh, get out of my vehicle at least once to move a small tree out of the way on my way back from the, uh, the shooting range so the thing I like about this one is that uh, it's 20 inches long you know just a little bit longer than a hatchet so you can you know you can hold this and swing it with two hands even though it's not meant for any kind of extended use doing that you can do it um, you know if you need to chop a I don't know a four six maybe an eight inch you know tree that's fallen down across the road this will do it for sure made by Husqvarna of course not sure what the model number is uh, it is called a carpenter's axe it's got a really really nice heavy uh, really well made sheath now on the website uh, sorry on the website the uh, picture for the current model shows a uh, curved blade and I'm not sure why they they show that because a true carpenter's axe has a straight blade um, I, I couldn't tell you if the one they have on the website is is a newer model or an older model or just the wrong picture or, or something like that but and this has a pretty good heft to it you know it's definitely heavier than a hatchet you wouldn't want to use it like a hatchet unless you really choked up on it and then you know it's just it's not meant for hatchet work the sheath uh, heavy heavy duty rivets thick you know thick leather good solid snap that's easy to do and easy to open The hallmark or whatever you want to call it on this uh, blade hand forged made in Sweden so that's my uh, my car axe now uh, just as a side note I also have this Grand Fours Brooks axe stone I'm pretty sure they're made in Sweden as well Scandinavia somewhere anyway and it tells you right there dots are fine triangles are coarse and uh, you know this is really really quite easy to use on, on an axe to touch it up uh, in addition you know if you do any serious damage you can use a file but once you uh, got the thing fixed you can just use an axe stone like this and they work great I always keep these two together in the car okay that's it for number two Husqvarna carpenter's axe have a great day everybody Mike out <laughs>